सो हाई डियर कैंसर अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जनरल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द कैंसर सन मून मिनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माई टू माई टोट रेजोनेट विद द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ मे टिल द एंड ऑफ मे एंड दिस इज नॉट अ लव रीडिंग बट वट एवर विल कम आई विल जस्ट लेट यू गाइज नो सो फॉर कैंसर पीपल द ओवरऑल एनर्जी और ओवरऑल फोकस एरिया ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री थ्री हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी एम अ कैंसर मून एंड कैंसर असेंडेंट सो लेट सी हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर अस पीपल किंग ऑफ पेंटिकल्स ओके द ओवरऑल फोकस एरिया इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन योर ओवरऑल स्टेबिलिटी सी थिंग्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी इजी फॉर योर कैंसर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लाइट यू देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ ब्लैक इश एनर्जी लॉट्स ऑफ नेगेटिविटी अराउंड यू लॉट्स ऑफ स्ट्रेसफुल एनर्जी अराउंड यू बट यू विल बी फोकस ऑन दिस एनर्जी ऑफ लेट मी मेक अ लॉट ऑफ मनी लेट मी बी फकिंग रिच ओके लेट मी स्टेबिलाइज माई ओन एनर्जीज लेट मी बी विद माई सेल्फ एंड फिगर आउट अ वे to be stable no matter what is happening around me okay really beautiful very very strong root chakra energy this month let's see in the recent past what was happening we had the knight of wands you took some kind of decision you took some kind of action or you were very very passionate about something or someone in some cases you took uh, some kind of trips also you were like okay i have to experience life i have to experience new things i have to see lot of thing and do lot of thing in my life okay so in the recent past you were very very passionate about something or someone and you were doing something very differently now in the current energies let's see what is happening we have the king of swords right now you are in this energy of okay everything or everyone who is like uh, not serving me anymore or who is giving me pain in the ass let's cut it out cut the crap okay currently you are in this energy i will uh, uh, like uh, clarify these cards one by one okay in by the end of this month let me see what we have cancer for for us for we for us for we <laughs> sorry let's see we got wheel of fortune yay <laughs> so the luck is going to turn in your, uh, in our favor slowly but surely the tables are going to turn in our favor cancer boom that's beautiful let's clarify these cards one by one king of pentacles what are king of pentacles let's clarify the overall energy of king of pentacles for cancer people for this month of may we got the two of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the lovers card okay so the confusion that you are having regarding things that you are really passionate about in your life the confusion is slowly but surely going to uh, like vanish and you will be feeling a very passionate kind of energy enthusiastic kind of energy towards yourself towards your life you will be enjoying your life cancer in this month because uh, you will be becoming very very irresistible you will be becoming very sexy you will be becoming sexier in not uh, not only in your looks you will be becoming sexier in your personality also but you have to put in the work effort and work in this okay just give me a second <coughs> so you have to put in the effort and energy in this and slowly but surely wheel of fortune twice is telling me that cancer your your luck is about to change 360 degree whatever is happening uh, like is happening it's fine but trust me your luck is going to change and take a turn for the best of your life your best is about to come mm -hmm. 10th of may onwards you are going to feel a very beautiful kind of energy towards you passionate fiery passionate fiery is not all about love passionate fire is all about living uh, your life to the fullest and then attracting people around you who who needs that kind of energy let's clarify the knight of wands uh, in the recent past so you started doing something like uh, going to gym or like working on your physique working on your looks working on your sexuality or exploring new things new people new th uh, new uh, uh, things <laughs> let's clarify the knight of wands fuck Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords. You walked away from something or someone. In the recent past, you got to know something about a uh, a person or a situation or a work situation. You got to know something about a situation where you felt like, okay, now I cannot live in the situation anymore. Let me uh, let me walk away from this and let me do my own things. Let me explore new things. Okay, let me do new things. Let me do something that I never did till now. might be you are currently doing it you are walking away from something this some something deceptive very very deceptive most probably it's in your work area that you found uh, that uh, somebody is uh, you know 
playing mind games with you or some kind of office politics is going on or uh, the partner or the person that you were uh, very very uh, connected to and you felt like this person is meant for me forever they betrayed you they did something really wrong with you and you felt like nope i cannot stay in this connection or in this situation any longer let me let me love myself enough to walk away from the situation let me uh, live my life to the fullest and walk away from all these uh, negative and uh, shitty kind of energies and deceptive kind of energies so you did it, did that in the recent past might be currently you are in this energy of walking away only current energies are telling me you just uh, you are in this energy of cutting the crap king of swords cutting the crap and remaining cold and off and detached towards people or situations that's no longer serving you or making you happy you are feel like uh, you are uh, like other people might be uh, seeing that you as a rude person or detached person but uh, you are just trying to protect yourself might be in a better way don't do that but uh, you are just trying to protect yourself let's clarify the king of swords we have the five of pentacles the knight of wands and 10 of cups knight of wands twice wheel of fortune twice action cancer so you are coming out of a abandonment and trust issues kind of energy okay whether it was in your work area whether it was in your relationship area family issues or money issues whatever the situation may be you are coming out of a very deceptive kind of energy and low kind of energy you are feeling betrayed you are feeling left out you are feeling like you will never be able to trust people like that okay but on the outer surface you are showing people that you are really enjoying your life you are very very happy and you are trying your best to manifest a very good life for yourself you are trying to you know connect with your family members connect with people who do, who really cares for you who really loves you okay taking care of your family taking being passionate about your family uh, situations also taking action to make your family life or your family very very happy but inside of you there is lots of bitterness going on lots of anxiety lots of stress regarding betrayal kind of energy going on outside of you you are taking very good action you are like uh, uh making other people think you are very enthusiastic you are very loving caring kind of person but inside of you there is something else going on right now cancer don't let this experience of life make you bitter from inside even though you are doing really fantastic in your life cancer and i am so proud of uh, you for this but there is something that's making you bitter from inside don't uh, let this you know uh make you bitter instead be better and you are trying to do the the better thing only but it's my like job to uh, tell you this but anyway so you are uh, being available to the people or energies who are really really uh, loving you and caring for you and cutting all the crap that's not giving you the happiness that you want or deserve okay by the end of this month we have the wheel of fortune the table will flip the your fortune is going to flip okay so the you are going to get a surge of uh, miracles in your life miracles and miracles let me clarify the wheel of fortune by the end of may 2023 so i'm a cancer moon and taurus uh, sun i really hope that uh, everything is going to come beautifully for me because uh, for taurus people a good uh, brand new beginning is happening uh, for cancer people wheel of fortune is twice so i'm so excited about my future high priestess ace of wands a world card wow for most of you you will be traveling or even if you will not be traveling you will be dealing with lots of global people or global clients or global uh you know uh, friends okay so you will be gaining a lot of insight lot of spirituality lots of spiritual insights lot of spiritual downloads and uh, there will be a completion of a cycle something is going to end completely a chapter is going to be closed completely out of your life and you will realize this it's not like uh, somebody is going to tell you or somebody is going to come towards you and they are going to say okay let's close this chapter nope you are going to realize within yourself that a chapter is being closed completely there is no looking back this is never going to repeat the, the itself you are going to feel a renewed kind of energy a rebirth kind of energy by the end of this month because i do see after 10th of may cancer people you are going to be very very spiritually aligned with the universe and you are going to feel like okay this is a rebirth i'm not going to be the same again I, in fact i'm never going to be the same again as i used to be i'm never going to go back to my past life so the life you are going to live till 10th of may you are ne never going to go back to that life instead you will be making a new life spiritually aligned connected with your higher self okay connected with lots of people globally also i don't know what you do i don't know what's your job i don't know what's your work i don't know what uh, kind of person you are but there are lots of energies present that's uh, like uh, making me feel you are going to connect globally to a lot of people and your luck is luck will start changing like 
miracles miracles lucky month completion of cycles align with your higher self align with your higher energies spiritual downloads spiritual and not enlightenment spiritual growth beautiful fantastic i claim this for myself i claim this for every cancer who is trying to be spiritually aligned with themselves let's see what is the guidance for you people in this situation i don't think you need my guidance in this but anyway we have the three of swords five of swords a hierophant okay the only solution to the problems that you are facing within yourself the mind games the manipulations the the stress the hurt the uh, the painful kind of energy the painful kind of memories the only solution to all these problems is your spiritual awakening spiritual uh, alignment with your higher self this is the solution to all your problems so stay connected to your spiritual side as much as you can meditate find a guru find a, find a mentor find a solution to the problem spiritual solution to the problem that you are facing from a very long time so the solution to all your problems is spiritual alignment with your higher self that's it so uh, this is the uh, year 2023 i'm a numerologist as well so 2023 adds to number 7 number 7 is all about illusions breaking the illusions and connecting with your higher self so this year every sign is going to connect with their higher self lots of lessons lots of troubles lots of you know ups and downs will be there but the lesson is going to be so beautiful that it's going to change your life forever for every sign okay so for for you people it will start from 10th of may onwards the lessons the hardships uh, whatever you have learned till now you will be tested by the universe and you will be gifted by the universe by beautiful insights and beautiful downloads and beautiful spiritual growth so god bless you yeah so thank you so much for tuning in cancer i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste